Hello everyone, my name is Loco and welcome back to the Stardew Valley. Now I am so excited to share this episode with you because between this one and the previous episode that I uploaded, a ton of things happened. So I ended up streaming the game for about four hours or so over at my Twitch live stream and quite a couple of things did change. Very first thing that we managed to get, remember that final item that I needed for the community center? The final, final one called the rabbit's foot. I decided to head to the skull mines and see and try my very best whether or not I could grab one from the little flying lizard things. Now apparently the drop rate is extremely small. I was a little desperate because my rabbits didn't give me one for forever. And on the very first trip, this happened. I mean, we're a guy with a pink fedora mining for a rabbit's foot. <gasps> oh my god, we got it! What the heck? <laughs> that was so <laughs> That was so lucky. And something else that some of you may have already noticed by watching very, very carefully. Me and Leah did something. Oh, all right, all right. She wants to have fun tonight. Not the kind of fun that I was hoping for, but this happened as well. Oh! Guys! During the night, Leah gave birth to a baby girl? She didn't even seem pregnant. She hadn't said anything about pregnancy in a very long time. She just sort of, like, she just sort of sat there and she, like, you know, just, just, like, talked about taking a, a, a detour and, like, how she was gonna take a quick nature walk and how she was gonna go ahead and be like, you know, really excited about, uh, uh, about like, being pregnant and stuff, but she didn't say anything about it for the last couple days. And then, kaboom, out of nowhere? What should we name her? Call her little Sebastian? I don't <laughs> Too relevant, man. No, no, I'm gonna go with Loquette, guys. We got this. So we managed to get the rabbit's foot. We also managed to somehow, some way, produce a baby, which is pretty awesome. Loquette is currently sleeping right here in the crib, in the actual, you know, bedroom right here. Gotta be a little quiet about that. But one exciting thing that I haven't quite done yet is actually turn in the rabbit's foot. Now, it is currently also the 28th of the uh, second year. So that basically means that we have a ton of things to do to figure out. But first and foremost, I'm gonna bring this rabbit's foot all the way towards the community center, which is the very final item that I need that I'm gonna be completing at the final day of the second year. I've also done a lot of redesigning. <gasps> Look at this de design of the farm right here. It's looking pretty awesome. It's looking really, really great. I am extremely excited by the way this turned out. I basically decided to uh, make the roads a little bit bigger and add in these like, you know, different kinds of like road designs, I suppose, in the middle lane of it. So basically it ties in the farming area as well as like the actual farm all together very nicely. So here to the left, once this all figures out, like once all the fruit trees finish up and they're like a little bit more organized, I'm gonna complete the fence all the way to the very top. Then I'm also gonna have a more of like a disorganized type farming bit over here at the bottom side of the uh, of the farm so this is gonna be a little bit more messy this is gonna be a little bit more you know i guess natural and then here on the right side we probably will end up doing something else as well although i'm not 100 percent certain what that is gonna be just yet but tomorrow is when the new season arrives so i'm really excited for it now i've had this rabbit's foot sitting in my in my in my my chest right there for quite some time and i didn't want to turn it in yet because i really wanted to go ahead and share it with you guys oh man I've been trying to finish this one for a very long time. The funny thing is that I was really hoping to finish it up in the second year. I didn't think we could actually do it anymore because I just was simply not getting that rabbit's foot. I know you could get one from the lady with the cart, but my rabbits weren't giving me any. She wasn't giving me any. And my last final thing I could hope for was one of those flying things dropping one. And we got extremely lucky. So we finished up all of the rooms in here, as you can see. It's looking awesome. We got that one little star that still needs to be finishing up above the fireplace as well. So I'm gonna go ahead here and turn in the rabbit's foot. The bundle is complete. The bundle is complete. What do we get? We get five gold bars? Okay. I'm okay with that though. This is gonna be a little bit of, uh, you know, dancing here as well. Now, I have no idea what actually happens. 
The last bundle, Farewell Loco. Oh, that's a little bit disappointing. But I, I have no idea what actually happens when you complete the community center. Okay. Okay, we're all dancing. We're all being really happy. We've got like the little goodbye. <laughs> We've got like the little lounge area right now set up nicely once again. And it looks like the little Jumin Junimos have decided to return to where they originally came from. And now we've got this nice little area for the people in the town to enjoy. Now, I'm not exactly sure what this house is going to be like and what they're actually going to be doing here. But look at that. Finally, the Pelican Town Community Center has been completed. Hey, the clock actually works? Wow, the clock actually does work. That's awesome. Is it going to spring to 20 right now? Yeah, it did. That's cool. That's really, really cool. So I'm hoping that some of the uh, some of the community people are actually going to be hanging out in here, or maybe do something with the place. But I am excited for this because tomorrow we also do see the introduction of spring. Obviously, we're going to be in the third year. I'm a little bit low on money right now. We got 400k. It's not terrible, obviously. Like it could be much worse. Like it's more than I can truly spend. But um, tomorrow we're going to start farming once again. Trying to keep the art of fishing alive. I'll pay 160 gold to any fisherman who catches four sardines. Alrighty. I really am not bothered too much by the quest. But one of the things I do want to go ahead and do is get a lot of grass starters. So, a lot of the farm will have to be covered in grass. We're going to spread those as soon as we have the time for it. And I also want to make sure I get some quality fertilizer. But I don't really know exactly how much of that I'm going to be needing. So, we'll do a little bit of math. We'll figure out what crops we're going to be farming tomorrow. And um, at that point, I think it is time to just simply go ahead and, you know, head back to the farm, decide what we're going to be planting, and then just go to sleep. Now, I did want to go to the beach real quick, grab all the uh, the pots that we had, um, you know, basically in the water right here for quite some time. Wanted to go ahead and basically make sure that I have all of those with me. I want to put those in the water, you know, back on the farm. I don't really know why I put them over here in the first place. It seemed like a smart decision at the time, but... Doesn't seem like they actually, you know, get any other items here whatsoever. And it looks like... Oh, I was checking for any kind of coral on the beach, but it looks like there's nothing. Now, one of the things that's a slightly disappointed, or that's slightly disappointing, rather, is that I don't have quite all of the, um, of the sprinklers set up yet. We need, uh, we need two more uh, iridium sprinklers. I got everything I need. I just don't have battery packs. I got more money than I could spend. I would buy them if I could, but... Sadly, there's just none of them to be found anywhere. So, I think I'm gonna go ahead and clean up a little bit more. Obviously, tomorrow when the new season does arrive, it's gonna be a mess once again. Now, honestly, don't really need the crab pots. I don't really need to worry too much about them, because I already did a lot of fishing in the game. But at the very least, they're gonna be hanging out back at the farm as well, right? By the way, if you guys have any suggestions of what I should go ahead and put out here to the right side of the farm, like, basically here on this, like, right stroke, Please let me know, because I don't really need to, you know, to be all trees. Um, and I think this is not something that will stay until the very end. But I'm not 100% certain what I'm going to be putting in here. Alrighty, so let's do a little bit of calculating how many seeds I'm going to have to buy. And how many quality retaining soils I'm going to have to buy as well. So first and foremost, these basically, what are the adjacent patches? Um, two to either side. So that does mean, oh, it's getting a little bit darker already at 4 p.m. But that does mean that they basically have a 5x5 five five square minus one of, you know, the thing itself being in the center. So 24 each. Now we got six of those patches that have three of the iridium sprinklers in the middle. So that does mean that we have about 18 of them set up. So that's 18 times 24. So in total, I'm gonna have to purchase 432 of those crops. I think we're gonna go ahead and make rhubarb. I would actually go ahead and make strawberries, because strawberries do net you the most profit. But the sad thing about it is that I don't have actually have any seeds left over from last year. I didn't realize you could put those in the seed maker. Uh, so I simply don't have any strawberry seeds. We can purchase those for the next year uh, during the event that does take place in the spring. But um, I currently don't have any. So I think tomorrow morning we're going to be headed towards the desert after also picking up the quality retaining soil uh, from Pierce. Now one of the things you may have already noticed is that we got a bunch of bee houses also lying around here. So I'm going to have to put some flowers in those. Uh, there are six patches times four. So we're going to need 24 uh, you know, seeds for flowers as well. And obviously that will increase the amount of bee production or, you know, honey production that we'll get in the end. Now I'm actually a little bit late. I haven't taken care of the animals yet. Probably should have done that a little bit faster. 
I was busy being excited about all kinds of things. I am excited though for tomorrow as well, because there's going to be a ton of things to do once again. The winter definitely is a great season as well, but it's not nearly as exciting as some of the others. And while we spent pretty much the entire winter just preparing for the next season, I'm ready for the next season. Looks like we're still plenty in time though, because they're all still giving me the milk that apparently they do really badly want to get rid of. I also share the sheep while we're at it. And then I think it is time to just simply clean our bags and see what the next season looks like. Alrighty. So producing some mayonnaise. I think I've got too many eggs though to really properly do this. That's all fine. I'll just sell the rest of them in the chest as well. And I think it is almost time for that party that Leah was talking about earlier this morning. I mean, I don't really know what she has planned, but I'm not gonna pass up that opportunity. Dog, get out of the way. Good. Thank you very much. Just headed into the uh, the cave real quick. I haven't been here in quite some time actually. Like, I've been kind of bad at maintaining this uh, this this mushroom farm that we've got over here. And with that, I think it is time to say goodbye to the winter of year two. And say hi to the year three. I'd never thought I'd receive a mermaid's pendant so soon after moving here. I'm happy about it though. That's all right, Leah. We'll go ahead and just simply, you know, head to bed. Loquette, by the way, is just sleeping. She's just sleeping like crazy. But here we go. I wonder what happens with the community center here, though. We obviously don't really know what happens here. It finished up. We got that final thing completed about it. <gasps> the first of spring year three. Nice. Did anything happen? Oh, nothing happened overnight. Well, that's a little disappointing. I was hoping for something awesome. Anyway, let's say hi to Leah. That was some way to ring in the new year last night. So spring has arrived. It is time to see what is going on. Dear Loco, everyone around town has been talking about your great generosity lately. Apparently packages have been appearing in people's houses containing items they posted about years ago on the community center's bulletin board. And the packages are all addressed from your farm. Thanks for going out of your way to do something like that. All of us in town are delighted. And what does happen with that is that apparently I got a lot of hearts with everyone in the town. It's pretty cool. Loquette also has a little bit of love for me. Some of the people I haven't really talked to yet during the entirety of the game, really. Apparently only, only Willy it really does like me. I've been a loyal customer of his bait and rods and whatnot, so maybe that's what he likes. Either way, though, it's time to get started. It's time to get started with the new season. So first thing first, we're going to have to get rid of all of the junk that is sitting, you know, basically on top of the... Um, on top of the farm right now. I got my watering can here ready to go. But uh, this obviously needs to be, you know, an area where, you know, we can actually put down plants and whatnot. So we're gonna have to get rid of all of the grass and all of the hay that, you know, has accumulated over at this area. Now I'm not gonna be taking care of the animals today. They'll have to wait for a day. I think they'll be fine though. Just wanna make sure that I got my, uh, my farming going on properly and the nice thing obviously is that we now compared to the last year actually have the the perfect tools for the job like we got the iridium tools for literally everything so that does mean that obviously things should go technically speaking way faster Alrighty, so we got rid of all of the junk that was lying around next up we're gonna have to make sure that we also till the soil so we can actually plant some crops in it now obviously i do have to be a little smart about it one of the reasons by the way why i decided to put a stepping stone underneath all of the uh, sprinklers is primarily just so I don't destroy it. <laughs> Basically, normally if you if you till the soil like this, it's gonna be a little bit messy. Uh, but so far, it does seem to be working out just fine. And really, to be honest, this is gonna be the primary goal for today. I just want to make sure I get all of the seeds started as soon as possible into the season, so we can actually harvest them more often. So, like I said, if you want to go for maximum profit during the spring, what you want to plant down is gonna be strawberry seeds because strawberry seeds do net you the most profit but the problem with the strawberry seeds is that you can only purchase them um, during the spring festival type thing that they've got going on in town and that is only during i believe the 13th of spring don't quote me on that but it's somewhere in the middle of the month and at that point it's not actually worth it anymore to go ahead and put down strawberries at least in most scenarios i believe so you basically have to purchase those an entire uh, year in advance before actually using them, which is fine, but last year I didn't really have the money to support all of that. Right now I think I'm gonna be able to do that just fine. Oh no, I didn't mean to destroy the bee house. Sorry about that bee house. This obviously still does take quite a little bit of time, just because, well, you can't really speed it up any faster than I am doing right now. 
Um, it's just it's just something you have to do. We also need to make sure we water all of this. I think I may very well have to like water the um, you know the two remaining uh, areas right here, the two remaining patches in the top right of the farm, just manually until we have two Fridays that have gone by by, or like maybe maybe like a thunderstorm. I got all of the iridium in the world ready to spend, but I just simply don't have the battery packs to craft the final two. And uh, the only way you can get battery packs is if it does decide to start thundering. Which it hasn't done in the entirety of winter. Which I guess is realistic enough, but... You know what? I'm gonna have to run towards the shop. Because I'm not exactly sure when uh, when they close. But I gotta be careful, obviously, that, that I am there in time. So first off, we're gonna be heading over towards the... Uh, towards Pierre's. I was headed towards Pierre's, but I guess everyone's just really happy with my community center. Understandably so. I mean, I put a lot of effort into that dang thing. <laughs> this is pretty awesome, though. Nice. Oh, people are actually hanging out inside as well. I hope Pierre is still in his store, though, because I do need to talk to him. But this is pretty cool. Why is Demetrius pissing in the in the drawer right there? Demetrius, stop that! That is not a play. <sighs> oh, here I come with my pink fedora. What's up, Mayor? I'm not sure how you did it, Loco, but the community center has never looked better. You've done Pelican Town a great service. Everyone in this town is pleased. Thank you. Thank you. I understand. <laughs> As a way of saying thank you, I'd like to present you with the town's greatest honor. The Stardew Hero Award. You've earned it. Thank you. Ah! Beautiful. Thank you. You received the Stardew Hero Trophy. I put that in my house. Thank you. Ooh. Someone's not happy. Morris. Sales have been plummeting. Where have all my customers gone? Oh, that's the guy from the actual, you know, the, uh, what's it called? Like the Joja supermarket? <laughs> all my customers here? This isn't good. Get out of here, dude. We don't want you to take over our, our, you know, community. Let's be reasonable. Let's settle this the old... I mean, we can be reasonable to the guy, but we could also be a jerk. I should be picking let's be reasonable, because that's personally what I would be. But let's finish this off the old-fashioned way. That means nothing. I'll just run a 75% off of my sale and all my customers will be back crawling to me. Hit him! Take him! Not this time, Mora, says Pierre. I think it's, it's time we settle this once and for all. Pierre, get him! How do we get this? How do we do this? Pierre! Whoa, 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 Pierre! <laughs> if you're too scared to fight me, then bring one of your co-workers. Or all the JoJo employees such cowards. Ah. Oh man, he's turning into a Super Saiyan. Insult me all you like, but don't you dare slander the good name of JoJo. Oh, here we go. Poof. Poof, poof. Hit him. Poof, poof. We got him. Oh, oh. Morris. You're even weaker than your fresh produce selection. <laughs> I like I like how the Fisher guy is just standing there checking out the thing. Uh, the aquarium. And the way you throw punches is just like a Joya. Quantity over quality. Oh, sick bird, Pierre. Get him. Poof. Oh, man. Oh, man. I was probably supposed to be reasonable here. He can fly, Pierre. You're truly a Super Saiyan. <laughs> he puts on the sunglasses. What a guy. Morris and his Joja Mart cronies have never been heard from again. I wonder what's gonna be in that corner of the map now. But this is cool. We had to have over or we have to head over there. Where did my horse go? I was here on horse. Oh well, doesn't matter. We can't take it to the desert anyway. Yo, what's up here, you badass? How you doing? I was just on my way to you. Cause I really wanted to go ahead and buy some. Quality fertilizer, right? Not the retaining soil? No, 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 no. Quality fertilizer. We need 432 of those. There goes my sweet money once again. Alrighty, 432. That's good. Hey, horse, there you go. Alright. Uh, we're gonna have to head really quickly towards the desert too. Just to go ahead and purchase those rhubarb seeds as well. I believe they sell those there. I'm just not 100% certain if they actually do, but we'll figure it out soon enough. Okay, here we are in the oasis, 
in the desert. Quick, 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 quick. Well, you know, we're headed towards the oasis. I thought this place was called Oasis, but... <sighs> yeah, 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 she does sell them. Nice. They take 13 days to mature. That's quite a long time, but we need 432 of those as well. Man, we have a lot of money, but this is... This is expensive. 430? 432. Sweet! Alrighty, so we got those all figured out. I haven't been to the casino yet, by the way. We'll have to do that sometime later, but... We got everything we need, right? Oh, actually, I forgot to buy flowers. I don't know if Pierre's is still gonna be open by the time I'm back. I think he will be. Pierre's, sorry, I wasn't quite done yet. I needed to purchase a couple more things from you. 24 flowers. Maybe a couple more, actually. Ugh. Yep, yep. Yo, well, what's up, Pierre's? We've already spoken a couple times today. Um... Where do you actually buy? Ooh. I was gonna say, where do you actually buy that, but... He's got cool wallpapers at the very least. I'm not sure about that flooring, but... I'm gonna buy those. We can get all kinds of different tulips, I suppose. That would be cool. I've never actually made any tulips before. Um, they also have, like, jazz seeds and all kinds of other things. Kill seeds? Would that... No, that would not be considered a flower. I think we're gonna go to tulips just to be safe, because I know for a fact that those are... And uh, they probably would look really cool as well. Honestly, I don't really... I don't really plant those things down for the money or like for the, for the prettiness. I just sort of I just sort of make them because they uh, they look cool. Obviously, we're we're primarily in the business to make the most beautiful farm of all time, right? Not so much the most efficient. But anyways, this will do. Now it's time to head back towards the farm and see what we can do over there and if we have time to plant all of the remainder uh, of all of the seeds. First and foremost, I do have to make sure that I get all of the. So, or all of the, uh, the, the, the the soil actually tilled as well, and now we can go ahead and start putting in the quality retaining soil, which is really expensive, but should be worth it in the end. At the very least, it had been every single time we have, and basically it just makes it grow a little bit faster, I believe. And Actually, maybe not faster, but like produce higher quality crops that can sell substantially, you know, more. So this isn't actually taking all too long. It's just that there's only so many hours in a day, right? <laughs> and we have to make sure that we actually plant all the crops as well. The problem with the quality retaining soil is that it's this really weird color of green that makes me have to put it, like, down in the uh, in the actual sun. Because otherwise, it's very difficult to spot. Like, even with the two uh, iridium band rings that I've got, it's still not easy to spot whether or not you've actually used the quality retaining soil on the actual uh, soil itself. Because, you know, the green is, is, is difficult to spot. I think we're just gonna be running upside down and, you know, back around as well. <laughs> just to make sure that we get all of this area soiled as quickly as possible. That's not even a verb, is it? Soiling. Anyway. Nearly done. Nearly done. Since I bought the exact amount of soil we need, we will be able to check whether or not we missed any patches. Just by checking whether or not we still have any left over by the end of this. Seems like we're in a good spot, though. Seems like I've done reasonably well so far. There we go. Did I do good? Did I do, do good? Oh man, I got two spots left over that I haven't quite managed to do perfectly. Guess we're gonna be looking out for those. Oh, found one. Found one. Just one more. Just, just one more little bit that I haven't done perfectly. It could be one of the places behind the actual... Uh, what are they called? The actual uh, scarecrows. This one? Oh man. I'm not catching it. Anyway, I really need to start planting, so I'm gonna go ahead and just get started on that, and I'll just keep an eye out on whether or not I can find the uh, the final patch. You guys have probably already spotted it. I certainly haven't. <laughs> green on brown. A very lime green on brown. Not easy to spot. Alrighty, that's the left part of the field done. Time for the actual right part here as well. We have got three hours remaining, so this should be alright. Oh, 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 I found it! I found it! Oh, yeah, there we go. To be fair, it did bother me a little bit more than it probably should. <laughs> but we did find the very last patch that needed to be, uh, that needed to be, uh, you know, I guess upgraded to something that's a little bit better. I still have to water this as well, though. It's already, it's already midnight. Otherwise, we lose a day, which isn't terrible, but it's not efficient. Okay. I think I may be blind. 
I've got one little patch that apparently has not got a seed in it. Oh, right there, right there. But it's already one in the morning. I just simply don't have the time to complete all of this. So I guess we'll just take the lazy way out here and go ahead to sleep. What's going on in the house? What is that guy? <gasps> Grandpa! My dear boy. It's been many years since we last spoke. You were just a little boy, do you remember? This is the guy we actually got, you know, we, we inherited the farm from him. Look how far you've come. Though you may have forgotten me, I've been here all along. You see, my body has departed the world, but my heart will always remain in Stardew Valley. Grandpa, why you gotta be so creepy, man? You've been here two years now. I'm so proud of you, my boy. You're a better farmer than I ever was, and you've brought great honor to the family name. I can feel it now. My spirit is finally put to rest. Bless you. The future of the Locopian farm is in your hands now. Farewell. Grandpa, I thought you were gone all along for a long time. You can't just, you know, open wounds like that once again. Oh man, she's still sleeping. She's still sleeping. Lazy, lazy baby. She doesn't even like, you know, cry or like need food. The spreading weeds have caused damage to your farm? What? I don't even know what that means. Anyways, before we head outside, we're gonna make a freaking space planet out of... <laughs> I guess space planet is a little bit redundant, huh? But we're gonna make a, a planet kind of look out of the, uh, out of the house. Because uh, this classical thing that we had going on here for a while didn't really do very well with me. And I heard that uh, Loquette is also crazy about uh, the look of this. And I also got some wallpapers to go with this, so we'll make sure to update those as well to the last version. There we go. Oh, those wallpapers are way better. They're way boring. They're actually kind of similar to my room right here behind me. <laughs> there we go. What do you think, Leah? So, what are we planting this season? We've already planted, woman. You should go outside more. It's alright, though. Maybe she's mentioning the tulips that I haven't quite put down yet. Anyways. We have to make sure that we actually water this bit right here manually, which is gonna be kind of a pain in the ass for the first little bit, to be honest, but... It's not that big of a deal. We can, uh, we can water them quite quickly with the Iridium Sprinkler. It's just gonna take a little bit of time every day. In particular, if I'm gonna water the ground. Alrighty, so that is that all covered. Next up, we have to make sure that we actually also plant down those tulips that we bought yesterday. So the bees will be able to start, uh, you know, getting some uh, some some different kinds of honey. Because right now they've just been producing wild honey. And I know very well, by the way, that you don't need to put out this many, uh, this many, you know, flowers. But I think it will just look awesome. I think it will look cool. Just have to put down as many of those uh, retaining soils as we can. And... And then we'll go ahead and plant down the tulips as well. Obviously, this doesn't take very long. I wonder if they come out in different colors. That would be really cool. Or maybe they're just red. I wouldn't mind that either, to be completely frank. Yeah, we just need to get ourselves two more iridium sprinklers. That's gonna be kind of a pain in the ass. Anyways, next up, we'll have to make sure that we clean up the farm. Because obviously, the change of season has made this a complete mess. Which bothers me more than it should. Because I, you know, spent a lot of time organizing this place. And then this happens. Okay. We also have to get rid of all these, like, brown patches here. Because I don't like them. But this does mean that the animals are going to be allowed outside very soon once again. They haven't been outside all winter. I can't imagine that real-life farmers get really excited for this as well. I'm not going to lie, so am I. <laughs> they haven't been outside in way too long. But first, since they're now still a little bit more organized... We we'll have to use this moment to, uh, you know, milk them and take care of their fur. Alrighty, ladies. Here you go. You're now allowed to once again go outside. Now, they haven't been outside in quite some time. So, yeah. Nice. Next up, we got these buggers as well. We we'll have to let those out very soon, too. Ooh, they're immediately finding truffles already. Nice. Well, open the floodgates. <laughs> There they all go. Not bad, not bad. Let me have a real quick look at the greenhouse too. Looks like those are still growing just as intended, which is nice. 
But, um, we'll have to clean up all of this mess as well. Because there's a ton of, like, stones and things that have just, I don't know, started growing over here. Which I am not a big fan of, not gonna lie. Oh, snap! You found a peculiar statue behind Grandpa's shrine. Basically, there's a little grave right here in the corner of the farm. Apparently, we got a statue of pure iridium from it? Alrighty. I, I'm not too worried about that. We'll, we'll get that. We'll accept that. Now, I'm also removing some of the seeds, by the way. Uh, basically, the ones that have naturally started growing here. Just because I really don't want this place to become a mess. So... Just double checking whether or not there's anything messy over here. This has to be an organized bit of like tree farming and then the bottom side of the uh, of the farm can be a little messy. Man, this place really turned into a mess in just like, you know, a couple hours while I was asleep. <laughs> oh well. Oh well, oh well, we'll clean it up. No! I just removed one of the trees on accident. I didn't mean to do that. Oh man, that sucks. So I'm just gonna put grass down pretty much everywhere and we bought these grass starters from Pierre Like at the last day of the previous season and Then it's gonna put them in different kinds of spots. So eventually it will grow everywhere. Hopefully same over here Well, this can be a little bit more messy. I don't really want this to be a ginormous mess like with stones either So we'll remove those and same for right here Gotta be putting down some of these grass starters here, too. Just so eventually gonna look cool. Not right now, but eventually. <laughs> you know what? We'll put some down over here as well. Just to sort of make sure that this also uh, is gonna be part of the farm. Nice. Alrighty, so this looks to be all cleaned up as well. Well, for the last little bit of stone over here. And some grass that needs to be started. But, uh, looks like we have nearly spent the entire second day as well, once again, cleaning up some of the mess. But I think this may very well be one of the very best looking farms that I've personally ever seen. So that's cool. But put down some of the- some of the grass over here too. Just because I wanted to grow everywhere. I wanted to go ahead and put flowers here. We may do that in some later episodes. For the moment though. I'm okay with there being grass over here. I think we want to put some over here too. But we can have it overgrown. This is easy enough to get rid of, but it will grow, you know, automatically. So this should look pretty cool in the end. I put one, uh, some in front of the shrine too. And then some here in the top right corner as well. And apparently I've got mail that I haven't even read yet. Really should go ahead and do that. Oh, Alright, we just get a recipe. Cool. What else is there? We also got one from Linus apparently. And one from Willy. Oh, and Pierre's general store is now open seven days a week. Nice. That's kind of a cool announcement. I didn't know they did that. But anyways, we got some stuff to refine here. Actually, I only have four more grass starters. Well, whatever. We'll put those in the chest too. Ooh, time to pour some truffle oil once again. That's the first time in a while that we actually put any of those in. Nice. So we got two new things apparently that we can put down. That's the Stardew Hero Trophy, the most prestigious award the Stardew Valley resident could receive. And then also the Statue of Perfection. Don't know if I can put those outside. I can apparently. Where are we gonna put the Statue of Perfection? There's nothing quite like having a purple like space cat type thing in, in a space background. There you go, that's beautiful. And we got a trophy as well. I'll put the trophies in the, you know, the trophy in the kids room because they're pretty cool. There you go, kid. Oh, you're still sleeping? What a surprise. And I think the last thing to do is fill up the watering can because there's really nothing more to do on the farm, at least today. Obviously, there's a ton of other things that we'll have to do as well some other time. And we will get to more and more of this uh, very, very soon. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you have not already, however, do make sure you hit that subscribe button down below so you get a notification as soon as I do upload more, which is gonna happen probably sometime later this week or next week. So, obviously, if you're watching this in the future, just use the playlist instead because you automatically be able to uh, go to the next one. But other than that, I want to thank you guys all for watching. Have an amazing day. Do not forget to smile, alright? And I'll see you in the next one. Bye!